I don't want to be corny, but this is a real start from the bottom, like story. It yeah, is. We're in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, you're in the middle, but then we're here though. People know about us. People are like, yo, ISC. The people, you know how proud I am when people are like, yo, you, you go to that ISC party and they don't even know I'm part of it. I'm like, how did you hear about that party? He was like, yeah, everybody talking about it, everybody go through I'm like, we doing something, man. Nobody even, back in 08, nobody even know about the name. Nobody cared about the group. Now people know about us. And I'm proud of that. That's my baby. Case the producer. Yeah, big up to the man name, Punch the man name is Hun. You don't know we up in there. Pizza! Ray the bone, no. Virgin Islands are where we came from. Yeah. But we love y'all from every nation. From. White, black, Hispanic, even Asian. Yeah. Woman are the greatest creation. Yeah. I woke up in some new punani. Yeah. I woke up in some new punani. Planet Six. I woke up in some new punani. Uh huh. I woke up in some new punani. Any. Thing. I woke up in some new punani. Woman alone, woman alone, I don't only be fucking with woman alone. Yeah. I guess I will start. Hello, my name's Sean King. I'm one of the founding fathers of ISC Productions. Hi everyone, my name is Jerron Hansen. You know me as DJ C Mels. A freak. The way that she moves. Many names over the years. Alan Swagger Crew, Alan Sound Corruption, Alan Strictly Caribbean. Island sound crew, but I mean, a list goes on. One thing I love about ISC is that all of us are from different countries, you know, different backgrounds. I'm from the Virgin Islands, Kishan's from Jamaica, Abdul, his family's from Sierra Leone, uh, my boy Eddie, he's Puerto Rican. And one thing I love is that with our different cultural backgrounds, we bring different types of music to ISC. So we know Spanish music, you know. We love club music, we love soca, so we bring that to the table and that's what makes us different from other DJ groups. The mixture of genres, you know, um, you know, we all grow culturally, I would say, you know. I remember one time where I was like at some Latino parties and I'm like, yo man, I can't can't be with this music. I'm like, it was like so foreign, but you know, I have other people come into the group and introducing it. And more appreciation for it, and you know, um, you know, it's better DJs, more versatile. You know, people be like, well, we need this type of DJ. We got everything, so you know, we're prepared for anything. Um, still learning, like you know, new genre, still embarking on the horizon. So, the ISC Productions in the building. My boy Jamal on the camera. DJ SNO. DJ A. I see productions in the building. Shout out to CSA. We're about to get it. <laughs> we found it sometime in 2009, 2010. Yeah. Yo, years blur after the, the time. I was like, what's that? This year? Started though because we would just show up to people like uninvited with our speakers in the car and be like, yo, can we DJ for you guys? And people would be like, yo, go ahead. They didn't really care, you know. We saw that RIT had a you know, good potential. People always wanted to come out and were like, okay, we're bored. That's what happened. <laughs> good potential. People were bored. So were we. Yes. There was not that much SAU parties at all. We would be like, like one, twice, two, two times a month, and then the rest of the year is just house parties. House parties that would get shut down by like one o'clock and stuff. So that's the way how we started to spread our name first was you know showing up to parties and you know virtual DJ DJing for people and they're like yo y'all guys y'all should come back and do other house parties for us. So that's where we started. You know we started from the bottom. And then we worked our way out, you know, by so new in the middle, equipment. In the middle. <laughs> and then we started doing SAU parties. Um, the one biggest party that we did that I recall was the Delta party. We did it in Gracie's. That's when Gracie's was not live at all. Like, nobody really cared for Gracie's parties. And our first big event was a Delta party. And then um, the other
other parties that we did was for CSA. Yeah. So, yeah, we had some CSA. Yeah. 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 Is she gonna run to the camera stop? I sing about angels like Angel Eye. Rock! And pay my life. Rock! And Sam and die. Rock! I said the first successful event. This like, year? Not this year, I'm talking about my first ever. It was when we um, came back after a winter break. Yeah. Like, and we were like, yo, we're gonna throw our official first house party, convince somebody, Perkins, to like give us an apartment. That was Raphael. Thank you, Raph. Shout out to Raph. And we had like, you know, we just spread the word. Everybody was like, boy, everybody came through. Yeah. And everybody. we were just like, yo, the place is packed. And we just playing music and having a good time. That was like the first successful event. That was our first successful event in 09. But right now, like, out of all the events that we did, I personally like the date auction after party 2011. That was the one that got broken up. Even though it got broken up, it was yeah, crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Before 11:30, you were you, you, you? She was a freshman. I don't think she even came. It yet. was like 11 o'clock. Like we had all the deaf people on the floor twerking. Yeah. I was like that live. That party got shut down after like 20 minutes. Yo, the and whole. Rochester came through I didn't to that money. party. They didn't start fighting with chairs. I'm just saying. But still, it, it was crazy. Was it chairs? They yeah, they start chairs. Oh, they start son. Yo, but still, it was getting so. But just good. The, it's just the pull that we was just like, yo. All right, I'm for her. Let me say my little thing. Smart. Smart. My favorite parties with ISC is. The colony parties that they had in their apartments. I was saying. Oh, forgot it. Those. <laughs> were probably the liveest parties that they've ever had. Probably my favorite memories from RIT. Just the top floor, the basement, just packed with everybody, people going nuts. Probably my most memorable parties that we've ever had. So good job to you guys. Thanks, Jamal. I'm out. Okay, that was my personal, like, I was like, that was crazy, that party was crazy, but. Um, personally, my favorite right now has to be Mission Turn Up. Mission Turn Up took the cake, man. I mean, no, no, wait, wait, wait. When people come to you and say thank you for lifting a curse off of this building, that's when you know you're doing something right, man. That's when you know you're doing something right. And I'm like, I'm really, I'm really happy to bring that because people were really looking down on Gracie's party. People were scared to throw parties at Gracie's and Gracie's is actually a, a nice spot, actually. You know, everybody always wanted the SAU, so the SAU was mad booked out. But, you know, to find a nice venue where people can pack it out and have fun, that's really good. And I feel that that's, just, that's something we have left to RIT. And we also have a documentation. So if people forever forget, like, yo, Gracie's party's never live. You just gotta look at Mission Turn Up on ARTV and you'll be like, oh, let's give it a chance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> also, the Temple to Touch party, too. Yeah, that was pretty was good. good. Carrie Bash was good too. Like, Carrie Bash. Look like, out CSA. You know, RIT CSA. Look out for that. CSA. So, I mean, that was pretty successful. Like, we always been pulling people. And that's, I think that's the most astonishing thing that I've seen. Like, people come out and have a good time. And they'd be like, yo, that was a good party. So, I'm, I'm the um, marketer for IOC Productions. And I remember that somebody told me once that sometimes in rochester and rit there might be good music being played but nobody might be there because they don't hear about it as isc productions whenever we throw an event we make sure that yo we go pull some people because we're not going to waste our time like we bring in some good music to the table you know we're trying to have some good times we have been to a lot of parties like we, we study a lot of music we know a lot of djs so we know what people expect from parties so when we throw our parties it's not like oh let's just do it for fun no we're coming you know prepared to be like yo we got all types of different music and if we see certain type of people we want to shout them out because we study our group and we study our crowd everybody has a good time so from since 2009 upwards there has not been 
uh, I, I, I'm not tuning my own horn, but an IAC Productions event, we make sure there are people there. So that's one good thing about us. Why don't you tell them how you got that name? Because everybody would ask me like, um, A, what does A mean? Like, it's A, I mean, it's from Jamaica. Um, so I was like, oh, so, you know, DJ in Jamaica. And I was like, ah, it's lame. So the abbreviation of Jamaica is J-A. But instead of having DJ J-A, you know, just take out the J and just make it DJ A. A. So it's a J A in there somewhere, but you can't. <laughs> but he's not even telling you the real story. The, the full story. That's one That's part. The story. But remember when Gucci Man was hot? And then they had us all like, hey, hey, okay. That OJ the Juice. Oh, it's OJ the Juice Man. But okay. Gucci was on it, right? Yeah, Gucci was on it. That song, that's what, that was his that was theme. Like an <laughs> that was his theme song back in the day. You don't want to claim it because I have the name. Yeah, because you know Gucci. I'm mean, gonna start shut up. Yeah, like you know, it's 2013 now. But that's what his theme song back in the day, and when like bricks was hot and all that stuff. That was you know we way back, man. So that's when we were like, yo, Kashawn, that's your theme song. So at parties, when he like, whenever he played that song, we'd be like, hey. DJ, hey, like that, that was him. That was that was for that's him. That's where the name came from. That, that, that's the story. Don't believe him. This is that's not the story. <laughs> it's like happens. C metals, C dash metals. All right. Story behind C metals. Don't judge me. There was back in the day. Um, I, I had a nickname called Caramel. Don't ask me why. People diss me all the time. So you know Caramel skin, whatever. My nickname was Caramel. Right? And I would call my name, call myself DJ Caramel. You know, people was like, no, no. So, you know, shout out to my god brother Jamal. Um, he saw that name, he was like, nah, son, nah, nah, nah. He, then he was like, yo, change that name up, you know. Just call yourself C Mel's. I was just like, yo, I don't really care, it's hot, you know, whatever, take it. And then from then, that was back in 08, I've been calling myself DJ C Mel's. Nobody has ever asked, no, I why but they just go along you don't see that it was good i'm like all right whatever i remember like starting off the whole rc page and the twitter and i was like all right give everybody nicknames you know someone was like oh the name's rose so i was like all right this is you know rose over here this yeah. is like, i was yeah. like shorten caramel and make it see metal i remember we were, we were asked like what do we love about being a dj Personally, I love music because I've been playing the trumpet for since I was in fourth grade, so I'm a musician. You know, I love to hear good music and I love to play it and see people have fun and dance, you know. And I love to share um, my type of music to the world because, you know, something new and different. Me personally, I'm an audiophile. I always was interested in speakers. Always like trying to make like my own speaker system. That was like step one and then step two. My brother was always into music. He was always listening to music. You know, right now he's a recording um, artist or I mean engineer. He got his degree, so I was always into music. And you know, when I found, when I knew that you could do something with music that you know incorporated audio, like I really fell in love with like you know making different you know blends and so forth. I hear that come across. So that's just that's just me, basically. I mean, I love music too. I love to dance, I love to entertain. I'm Jamaican, so I mean, it's in my culture to dance, you know, to have a good time, you know. Um, so that's 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 what DJ does. So that's, that's why I love it. So basically, we start as a group of friends, and you know, we like you know partying and you know music and DJing and. We came to RIT, we were like, yo, RIT's wax, son. Like, <laughs> it's got nothing to do. So it was like, I was doing a little DJ, and they were like, yo, why don't we throw our own parties? So, you know, we got started, started throwing our own parties, doing our own thing, you know. And that's basically how it was founded, you know. And then, you know, one day we were like, yo, we can make some money from this. Let's try to make this a business. First, it was just like, you know, family and friends just goofing off, you know, making music, whatever. And then, you know, from there we just, you know, let's try you know, be more professionals, went to some clubs and all that, and you know, kind of where we at now, we still, we still grown, we're not there yet, but you know, we're gonna come up, um, you know, right 
right now are graduating. Um, a lot of people that are in the group graduated, are graduating. So, I mean, the college aspect of IRC is no more. Um, unfortunately, to have any apprentices or, you know, prodigies to bring up. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to, you know, try to still do a little DJ, you know. It's fun. It's fun stuff. And if you can make some money from it, why not? It's my way to be able to Yo, IRC Productions in the building. My boy DJ Infamous. My boy Jameen on the camera. Shout out to Rap. Shout out to CSA. This is how we do it. As you can see, we put up a shut up. Do shout outs to you know the team. You know, we got Abdul, Eddie, you know, Isaac, Jeff, yeah, Shavar. Yeah, Shav, yes. We, we couldn't, Shav, we couldn't be where we are right now without Shav, um, you know, hyping up ISC and the slogan. I was like, <laughs> yo, it's a shout out. Island Sound Corruption. That was Shav. Shav, Alan, you know, have to shout out Alan, you know, the original ISC members. Ariel in there was part of the group. Nick we were in. Ready. That, that, that was the foundation. That was, a that was the beginning. Friends. That was gold standard, and then we became IS. We branched off. You know, Noor, Gideon, Kojo, all of them. You all can't forget them. Right. Yeah. Team turn up. Whoever's on that. <laughs> Raven, Johnny, Myra, Renell, Johnny. In, you know, help us out. All know, of them. Tasha, of course. Over you know, there. Tasha, Alex, Alex, Shamoy. You know, how you can say we don't have any problem? We got Shamoy. Shamoy and Ariel, we trained them and oh, I'm doing it too. I think the best way to work it, best way to work to someone's critiquing you is basically listen to what they have to say. If it's positive or negative, try to work around what they what they're saying and build it so that you know you're making yourself a better DJ and that you're pleasing the audience as well as the people that you're being hired to perform. What are your plans for expansion? We are always looking for new members. I <laughs> 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 forget about the ones that have been with us for the beginning. Like shout out to G7. How we forget G7 and also how can we forget Juju and UC and Jazlyn? All of them, man. Like they all gone. Like, I'm a lesbian. Like they all grab. Like you know, shout out to them. You know. Where we still, you know, love you guys. You know, we thank you for being there with us from the beginning, and you know, to see us, you know, doing big things, and we still have more to come. Follow me on Twitter, irep340, and also follow the group page at iscprd. You know, that's where we, you know, have all our updates, you know, we even have our Facebook page, you know, you go check out our old events and it has had stuff from back in the beginning, you know, when we used to do all our house parties and our first parties, you know, it's all there documented so you guys can see it for yourself. We can only, you know, talk, but if you see it, it's another thing. Look out for that, look out for more, follow me on Twitter, I-S-C-D-J-A-A-Y. guys for supporting over the years you know we're always trying to look for the next big thing you know do big things you know just want to say shout out you know thank you to ARTV you know Jamal and Ace thank you guys for all your hard work and you know documenting all of ISC's events you know thanks for the support guys everybody that helps out everybody that's always at our events Always encouraging us, you know, we got some people that might say, you know, all oh, that party was whack or whatnot. But thank you for the people that keep coming out mm -hmm. and making it life, you know, making the best of the situation. So, you know, round of applause for you guys, you know. Mm -hmm. Without you guys, I see would not be.